Hi everybody, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's tumbler, I am going to be making a 4th of July Milky Way tumbler. I thought this tumbler would be perfect for the summertime, July, since the holidays coming up. Like always, I'm gonna have all of my materials, including links and coupon codes posted in my description below, along with help videos for all of my beginner tumbler creators. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started on this tumbler. I have a 20 ounce stainless steel tumbler from Maker Flow Crafts. I sanded this tumbler down with 180 grit sanding block. After I sanded it down, I wiped it down with 91% alcohol. After I wiped it down with 91% alcohol, I spray painted it with a flat or matte white spray paint. And now my spray paint is completely dried. I'm going to be using epoxy to add the glitter to my tumbler. With my gloved finger, I'm going to be applying the epoxy all around the tumbler. And the amount of epoxy that I'm using is going to be a very little amount. I have mixed five milliliters of epoxy total and I'll probably end up using about three milliliters of epoxy. It is very important to apply a very thin amount of epoxy on this tumbler. You don't want the epoxy to drown the glitter. So you want to keep that shine on that tumbler. So if you apply some uh, epoxy to your tumbler and you notice that whenever you uh, apply that glitter, the glitter is very dull. Well, that means the epoxy drowned out that glitter and you just use too much epoxy. I like to compare this to spray adhesive. I used to apply spray adhesive to my tumbler and then add my glitter. Whenever I applied my spray adhesive, the spray adhesive was so thin on my tumbler, but when I went to go put my glitter on the tumbler, all the glitter still stuck to the tumbler. So with that being said, I like to have this epoxy as thin as I can, just like spray adhesive. Don't forget to hit the bottom of the tumbler with the epoxy. Again, you don't want a lot of epoxy, you just want a very thin amount. Once your epoxy is on your tumbler, go ahead and take your heat gun and apply a little bit of heat to your tumbler. I do this because sometimes when you apply a very small amount of uh, epoxy to your tumbler, it tends to streak. And then if it does streak, whenever you apply the glitter over, you're going to see the streaks on the tumbler. The first glitter I'll be adding is going to be Firecracker. This glitter is a nice chunky red. I like to use chunky colors on these Milky Way tumblers because I like the chunky effect. It gives it more depth to the tumbler and you can really see the colors peek through the alcohol ink or that acrylic paint that you put over these glitters. And I just apply these glitters diagonally around the tumbler and I let this tumbler spin. I'm not chasing my tumbler. I'm just letting it spin and I'm just adding it um, one line at a time and I'm making it as thick or as thin as I like. Don't worry about it being perfect. Your line doesn't have to be the exact straight line. It doesn't have to be perfectly diagonally around the tumbler. Uh, you're going to have a lot of stuff going on with this tumbler, like I said, so just place the glitter where it lands. My next color is going to be Voyage and it's going to be a blue chunky. I'm going to be placing this blue glitter right next to the red glitter so I want them side to side. And I'm doing the same, I'm just applying the glitter on the tumbler and I'm just letting the tumbler spin. Let those excess pieces of glitter fall off and then come back around and apply more glitter. And if you notice some of my blue kind of, uh, I guess, rolled down the tumbler, that's fine. I'm going to keep it that way. It gives it a nice kind of uh, look anyway. This is not going to be a perfect tumbler. None of them are, so I think it will turn out pretty with that there. My next color is going to be this opal color. It is opal shards, and this isn't a chunky nor a fine. It is exactly what it sounds like. It's shards of glitter. So I thought that would uh, be really cool on this tumbler. I don't think I've used this glitter before, so I wanted to see how exactly it gets placed on a tumbler. So I'm going to put that right near either the red or the blue, and I think I'm going to go for the blue, and then I'm just going to kind of right next to that blue, place those shards. And this is completely optional. Um, if you wanna keep the glitter just red and uh, blue, then you can. I wanted to add some white or opal glitter just to give it kind of obviously the red, white, and blue feel. So I'm just going to be placing more shards on the tumbler just to fill in some of those spots. 
For my next color, I'm going to be using North Pole. This is a fine glitter. Although I like to keep my uh, Milky Way tumblers with chunky glitter, I also like to add some fine glitter uh, on the tumbler as well. So I'm just applying that. And like I said, I'm not chasing the tumbler. I'm just simply waiting for it to roll around and I'm just filling in those little blanks next to that opal shards. And the good thing about the fine glitter is that you can put it on top of the chunky glitter and it kind of uh, like sinks down in the crevices. So it has like kind of a nice overlapping effect. So I really like that about the fine glitter and the chunky uh, glitter mixing. I'm going to be going back in with my Voyage and I'm just going to be placing that right next to that fine red. I'm going to be going in with Deep Blue Sea, which is a blue fine glitter. Deep Blue Sea is going to go right next to Firecracker, which is that chunky red. And I'm just filling in those little spots of white. And to finish up, I'm going to be placing the opal shards right in that area between those two blues. Now what I'm going to be doing is focusing on one part of the blank area and then I might add a little bit of red to that section just to have a little bit of pop. So I'm going to be placing it near that fine blue first and see how that looks. And now I'm going to go in with my North Pole again and add the red to those little areas where you uh, don't have any glitter on the tumbler just to keep that red, white, and blue uh, concept going. For my next step, I'm going to be focusing on the bottom of my tumbler. So a lot of y'all know I like to mix my glitters together. So I'm going to be having my opal shards, my chunky blue, my chunky red, and I'm going to mix them all together and kind of mix them up. So I create kind of a red, white, and blue glitter. What I do is I turn off my cup turner. I pat on my cup, getting all the excess glitter off. On that catch paper, I make sure I flatten that glitter down. I pick it up with my hand and I kind of press it down on the bottom. So my hand is kind of gripping that cup so I can get all of that uh, glitter sticking to that epoxy. And you can see that turned out so beautiful. I really like this combination. I really love this opal with the specks of red and blue glitter. I'm going to be patting off again, getting any of the excess off once again, and then placing my cup on the turner and turning on my cup turner again. Now that I have all of my glitter on my tumbler, the next step for me is very, very important. It's one of the most important steps of these tumblers. I'm going to be putting a uh, some gloves on my hands and I'm going to be pressing down on these glitters. The reason why I do this is so when I go to put my next uh, coat of epoxy on, that chunky glitter doesn't go through that epoxy and it's a nice smooth tumbler. I know a lot of people like to use wax paper and they kind of put the wax paper over the tumbler. If that's what you like to do, whichever method feels more comfortable, just so you can uh, make sure to uh, do this step. So what I do is I take my hand, and I also take my gloved finger and I kind of pat down around the tumbler. I'm not smearing, I'm just patting down. I wanna make sure I'm getting all of this glitter down on this tumbler. I wanna make sure I'm patting it down well. I do not like sanding. I like to also take my palm of my hand and I like to kind of press it down on the tumbler as well. When I'm finished with this step, I'm going to allow my cup to spin on the cup turner for about two hours. After two hours, I'm going to turn off my cup turner and then let my cup air dry or air cure for another two to three hours. So I'm going to have a total drying or curing time of five hours. The reason why it's such a small amount of time is because we put such a tiny bit amount of epoxy on this tumbler that it doesn't need to have a full 24 hours of curing time. Another thing I like to mention is that my epoxy, my temperature and my humidity in my room is a lot different than yours. So your curing time could be a little more or a little less. So keep that in mind. I'm finished patting down this tumbler. I'm going to let this tumbler spin, air dryer, air cure, and I'll see y'all soon. Welcome back everybody. My tumbler's epoxy is completely cured. It's been about five hours. Before I put my next layer of epoxy on my tumbler, I'm going to go around the tumbler and kind of wipe off any of the um, 
chunky glitters on the tumbler that might be peeking up. So I don't want any of those stubborn pieces peeking through the epoxy, like I said earlier, just to eliminate sanding. So I'm going to quickly go around and do that. And then I'm going to mix my epoxy off screen and then put a layer of epoxy over my tumbler. Again, I am working with a 20 ounce stainless steel tumbler. So the amount of epoxy I'm going to be putting over this tumbler is going to be 30 milliliters of epoxy. That's 15 milliliters part A and 15 milliliters part B totaling 30 milliliters of epoxy. I do wanna mention that I am not sealing this with anything before I apply my coat of epoxy. I am going right into epoxying. I'm just going to be epoxying up and down like I normally will. I'm going to be fast forwarding to this next part just to save time for the video. Once I've applied my epoxy to my tumbler, I'm going to let it spin on the cup turner for about four to five hours. After four to five hours, I'm going to turn off my cup turner and let it air dry or air cure for another 15 hours or so. So I want a total drying time about 20 hours. I don't need my epoxy to be completely cured to move on to the next step, which is why I'm not waiting a whole 24 hours for the next step. I will be fast forwarding through this part just to save time for the video. Welcome back everybody. My epoxy on my tumbler is completely cured and I do have a little stubborn uh, opal shards kind of peeking through that epoxy. What I'm going to do next is sand my tumbler with the 220 grit sanding block. I'm going to lightly sand this tumbler uh, because I don't want to sand away the glitter, but I'm going to sand all over the tumbler. Another good trick if you want to kind of shave down the uh, opal shards on your tumbler, take a little pair of fingernail clippers or toenail clippers and you can clip them right off of your tumbler. So I'm going to uh, move along with this step and then I'll return when I'm finished. Now that my tumbler is sanded, I'm going to take my 91% alcohol and wipe down the tumbler. I'm just getting rid of any of that sanding dust that may have um, been placed on the tumbler or any oils from my hands that may have transferred over to the tumbler. I like to sand down my tumbler before I move on with the next steps once it's been epoxied because it just uh, allows the epoxy to stick better to the tumbler and so it doesn't repel around the tumbler. Once I have my tumbler sanded, I'm going to be placing some of these holographic glitter stars on the tumbler. I'm just going to be placing these kind of diagonally on uh, one of the blue parts of the tumbler. I'm choosing the part where I added the um, fine glitter only because it's less likely to be bumpy on the fine glitter area. These stars were found on Cricut Design Space. You can also Google a silhouette star and they should pop up and then download them to your computer. Since I am using holographic vinyl, I do cut these on the iron on setting. Like I said, I'm just going to be placing these along the um, fine glitter area, just right up the tumbler. You can see I have kind of the bigger ones at the bottom and then I kind of made them the smaller ones at the top. And I have the outline stars towards the top as well. You can do this along your tumbler. I just wanted this in one spot just to have a cute accent around my tumbler. After you complete this step, you can wipe your tumbler down with your 91% alcohol. Again, you can wipe the 91% alcohol over the decals. My next step is going to be epoxying and placing the acrylic paint over the tumbler. I will be mixing a total of 30 milliliters of epoxy. That's 15 milliliters part A and 15 milliliters part B, totaling 30 milliliters of epoxy. I'm going to be setting aside 25 milliliters of epoxy and then setting aside five milliliters of epoxy to add the acrylic paint to the epoxy. I will be mixing my epoxy off screen and then I'm going to come back and show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. 
I have my 25 milliliters of epoxy inside of my Dixie cup, and then I have my five milliliters of epoxy inside of my small one ounce cup. I'm going to be taking my white acrylic paint and I'm going to be taking my small one ounce cup and placing some acrylic paint into the one ounce cup. I'm going to be stirring the epoxy and the acrylic paint until you no longer see those little streaks in your acrylic paint. You want that epoxy mixture to be completely one color and you don't want to see a two color uh, mixture. And you can see that all of this epoxy and acrylic paint is now one color. So now I'm going to be taking my 25 milliliters of epoxy and placing it on my tumbler. If you like, you can always mix red, white, and blue paint together instead of just my white. So instead of having my one white acrylic paint, uh, you can do the red, white, and blue. So what I would do is I would still mix my 25 milliliters of epoxy and place that on my tumbler. And then I would do about three milliliters of epoxy each of each color. So um, one of red, one of white, and one of blue. Now that I have my epoxy on my tumbler, I'm going to be taking my Wagner heat gun. I'm going to be applying a little bit of heat to my tumbler. This is going to allow my epoxy to loosen up and allow the epoxy to kind of run around the tumbler. So when I place my acrylic paint and epoxy mixture to my tumbler, it's going to create some type of swirl effect. Now that I have my epoxy kind of heated up, I'm going to be taking my uh, white acrylic paint and epoxy, and I'm going to be stringing it on the tumbler like so. I'm going to be doing one motion of stringing. I'm not gonna do little small strings. If it doesn't go all around the tumbler, um, that's okay, just let it spin like I'm doing now, and then just go back in with that acrylic paint and epoxy, and go back on the tumbler like so. I'm going to be stringing this uh, white acrylic paint around the tumbler. I'm also going to be placing it on the star area. I just don't want a lot of the uh, epoxy and acrylic paint covering the star area. So I'm going to go more light on those, on those areas and making sure that I don't cover them up completely. Cause I like them to have a kind of a peekaboo effect. So they're peeking through that acrylic paint, but I don't want them completely covered. Make sure you're getting the bottom as well. What I do is I hold my popsicle stick on the bottom and I kind of just let that acrylic paint and uh, epoxy kind of drip down towards the bottom of the tumbler. Like I said, this is your tumbler. Like I say about all tumblers, make this your own. Use how, how many colors you want to use and use as much or little acrylic paint you would like to use for this tumbler. It's going to look like this in the beginning, that's fine. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grabbing my heat gun again and kind of adding a little bit of heat to my tumbler. You don't wanna to add too much heat because you don't wanna kind of uh, just make the tumbler all white. And you wanna be very careful adding a lot of heat whenever you are using more than one color because if you are going to be adding a lot of heat, it's going to mush those colors together and it's gonna create kind of a brown or like a darker color and it's not going to be able to see all those colors separately. So whenever you're adding just one color, the heat isn't that much of a big deal, but whenever you're adding more than one color, it kind of becomes very crucial with, with how much heat you can add. So like you saw there, I added about 10 to 15 seconds of heat. And what I'm going to do now is just go around the top of the tumbler and kind of fill in those little edges on the top that I didn't add earlier. Another thing I do is take my 91% alcohol and I spray it around the tumbler. This also allows that epoxy to move around more. And this way you can do this without adding all that heat and be too concerned about if you're adding too much heat to your tumbler. I also take a popsicle stick and I go in with my popsicle stick and I kind of um, just string along around the edges of the popsicle stick. And I make sure that, like I said on the decals, if the acrylic paint is covering one of the decals, I just kind of string along over that just so I can make those decals peek through. And then I'm going to be taking more acrylic paint and just doing the same thing that I did earlier in a diagonal direction, going with the glitter around the tumbler. 
So add as much or as little acrylic paint and epoxy mixture as you like. And then repeating the process of adding the heat. Once I've added the heat, let the tumbler spin a little bit. Once it's spun a little bit, I'm going to go back in with my 91% alcohol and then add the alcohol around the tumbler. Now I'm going with my popsicle stick and kind of swoop away some of those um, lines and the where the decals are, some of those acrylic paint lines. You can also do this around the tumbler. If there's some thick lines that just aren't separating or they're kind of mushing together, just take your popsicle stick and make a little swirly inside of the epoxy. For my next step of this tumbler, I'm going to allow it to spin on my cup turner for about four hours. After four hours, I'm going to be turning off my cup turner and then I'm going to allow my cup turner to air dry or air cure for another 20 hours. So my total drying time is going to be 24 hours. After 24 hours, my tumbler is going to be completely cured. After that, I'm going to be going in and cleaning up the inside and around the rim. And if I still need to do a little bit of sanding, then I'll probably sand a little bit and then I'll put another coat of epoxy over. That last coat of epoxy, if needed, I'm probably going to do about five to 10 milliliters of epoxy. It's just enough to get away those little marks that I do for the sanding. Do keep in mind, whenever you have this tumbler spinning on the cup turner, it's going to change. That tumbler is going to move around more. Those paints are gonna move around. So don't freak out if your tumbler isn't as cute as you want it to be in the beginning once your tumbler swirls all those paints are going to swirl and create some kind of cool swirl effect so i'm going to allow this tumbler to spin on the cup turner air dryer air cure and i'll see y'all in 24 hours welcome back everybody my tumbler has been sitting on the cup turner air drying or air curing for at least 24 hours and here is the final result I will say one thing, I wish I would have placed the um, stars on all of the blue sections. I think that would really be cute. So I do like the stars, how they are peeking through, but I just wish I would have placed a little bit more stars around the tumbler. But other than that, I really love these Milky Ways. Y'all know I like to do a lot of Milky Ways uh, for each occasion or each season. So I thought I'd try this red, white, and blue tumbler. This is super easy. And and like I mentioned in my video, make sure you create this tumbler and make it your own. Add different colors to it, add more stars, add maybe gold stars. Just create it your own and I know you're going to create something gorgeous. So I hope this video helped y'all. If it did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tumbler and craft videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.